Hello everybody, this is Digital Blackboard by SHNP Nagmote. In this video, we are going to discuss the topic transfer function of armature controlled DC servo motor. So we are going to derive the transfer function of armature controlled DC servo motor. So this is the diagram for armature controlled DC servo motor. Here you can see armature field winding and then after the rotation of armature, we are collecting the mechanical power by using a shaft and then we are using one load. So here V in is representing input voltage, I representing armature current, LA representing armature re inductance, RA representing armature resistance, EB is representing back EMF of armature, then RF is representing field resistance, IF representing field current, LF is representing field inductance, this is shaft and this is mechanical load, TM is representing torque of the motor, omega representing angular velocity and theta is representing angular displacement. Here J is inertia, moment of inertia and F is a damper. So we are going to derive the transfer function of armature control DC servo motor. The circuit diagram is in front of you. So let's start. So first of all in step number 1 we are going to obtain the equation for I. Now as we are going to derive the transfer function, so we know the transfer function it is ratio of Laplace of output to the Laplace of input. So as we have to take Laplace, so we have to convert the whole circuit in S domain. So the inductance LA, its Laplace will be LAS, then RA will remain same, then I will become I of S, V in will become V in of S and back EMF EB will become EB of S. Now to get the equation for I of S in step number 1, we will apply Kirchhoff's voltage law in this loop in which armature is connected. So after applying Kirchhoff's voltage law in the loop, so we are getting equation V in of S is equal to I of S LAS plus I of S RA plus EB of S. So from this, if we take I of S common, so it will become I of S in the bracket LAS plus RA plus EB of S. So finally, we are getting the equation for I of S that is 1 upon LAS plus RA multiplied by V in of S minus EB of S. So in step number 1, we got the equation for I of S. Okay. So I of S, after getting the equation for I of S, we can convert that equation in the block diagram. So this is the block diagram for I of S. Okay. So we are using one summing point here. V in of S is one input. EB of minus EB of S is second input and it will get multiplied with 1 upon LS plus RA. So in step number 1, we obtain equation for IA of S. Now in step number 2, we will obtain the equation for torque TM. Now we know that the torque of DC motor is directly proportional to product of flux and armature current. So this is the standard torque equation for DC motor. So torque is proportional to phi into Ia. But here we are considering armature controlled DC servo motor. So in armature controlled DC servo motor the flux is constant. But flux is directly proportional to field current and which is constant. That's why flux is constant. So torque is directly proportional to Ia. And that's why we have taken one constant of proportionality KT. So torque of motor is equal to KT into IA, where KT is torque constant. So where KT is nothing but the torque constant. So we have we have got here the equation for torque of the motor. So Tm of S is equal to KT into I of S. So we are taking here the Laplace of this equation. So Tm of S is equal to KT into I of S. So this equation can also be converted into block diagram. So here we are having I of S is the input and then KT that is torque constant is one block and finally we are getting Tm of S. Okay. Now we will go for step number 3. So in step number 3 we have to obtain equation for angular velocity that is omega. Okay. Now to get the equation for angular velocity we will be using the torque equation. So the tor standard torque equation in the mechanical term is given by T is equal to J d square theta upon dt square plus f d theta by dt where t is representing torque, j is representing moment of inertia, theta is representing angular displacement and f is representing the damper. Okay. So t is equal to j d square theta by dt square plus f d theta by dt. But as we know that d theta by dt is nothing but omega. So we can rearrange this equation. So t is equal to j d by dt of d theta by dt plus f d theta by dt. So d theta by dt is equal to omega, we know. So we can replace d theta by dt by omega. So the equation becomes t is equal to j d of d, d by dt of omega plus f omega. Okay. 
now after taking laplace transformation of this so t will become t of s and j s omega of s plus f of f omega s okay so we are getting the equation for omega s so omega s finally comes comes to be t of s upon j s plus f okay so we are having equation 3 for angular velocity omega so we can also represent this equation number 3 by block diagram so we are getting equation number 3 so equation 3 can be converted into block diagram so we are having tm of s that is torque of the motor is the input and then it the signal is going to this block that is one upon js plus f so finally we are getting omega s okay so step number 3 is over now in step number 4 we will obtain the equation for back emf eb now what is back emf so basically back emf in the motor is the induced cmf in the armature so induced cmf emf in the armature is called as armature of dc motor is called as back emf and it is called as back emf because it direct its direction is exactly opposite to the supply voltage so it is as it is induced cmf so according to faraday's law of electromagnetic induction we know the induced cmf is e is directly proportional to rate of change of flux with respect to time so when there is rate of change of flux with respect to time there will be induced emf so the induced cmf is it directly proportional to rate of change of flux with respect to time and the rate of change of flux depends upon the rotation of the armature so rotation is nothing but angular velocity so basically so eb is directly proportional to d theta by dt so but d theta by dt is directly proportional to or equal to omega because the rate of change of flux will directly depend on the angular velocity of this armature so d theta by dt can be replaced by omega so finally we are having eb directly proportional to omega so we are getting that equation eb of s is equal to we are converting this equation in s domain so eb of s is equal to kb into omega of s where kb is back emf constant so we have to take one constant of proportionality here so kb is representing back emf constant so we got equation number 4 so eb of s is equal to kb into omega s m um, omega s so this equation can also be converted into a block diagram so omega of s is the input then this signal is going to the block in which the gain is kb and finally we are getting eb of s so we got equation 4 here now in step number 5 we will obtain equation for angular displacement theta so it is very simple so d theta by dt is nothing but omega that is already known to us that is rate of change of displacement with respect to time is nothing but angular velocity rate of change of angular displacement upon with respect to time is nothing but angular velocity so by taking laplace transformation to the both side so finally d, d by dt is laplace is s theta laplace of theta will be theta of s is equal to omega of s so finally theta of s is coming to be 1 by s into omega of s so we got equation number 5 here so equation 5 can also be converted into block diagram so it is here input is omega of s it is going to the block having gain 1 by s and finally we are getting theta of s okay so we got equation number 5 now all the equation equation 1 2 3 4 and 5 all this equation can be converted into a single block diagram so here we are going to discuss the block diagram of armature control dc servo motor so we know that the input for armature control dc servo motor is supply voltage that is v in and the output is theta because the main purpose of dc servo motor is to have rotation in particular in specific angles so input is v in of s and the output is theta of s that is angular displacement so input and output position is fixed now we are going to arrange the different blocks so here we are having summing point so input for this summing point we know that is eb of s so v in of s minus eb of s is nothing but i of s that is equation number 1 okay so we are getting i of s so into into 1 upon 1 upon r a plus l a of s will give us i of s and then i of s into kt equation number 2 so we are getting here the equation of torque that is tm of s now tm of s into 1 upon j s plus a will give us the omega i of s and after that omega of s into we are having the back emf constant that is kb so it will give us eb of s okay so this is the block diagram uh, we are arranging the equations all the equation in the in the block diagram and finally we know that omega of s into 1 by s is nothing but theta of s so this is the complete block diagram for armature control dc servo motor okay so we got block diagram for armature control dc servo motor now it is very simple for us to obtain its transfer function so we have to convert this blocks in a single block that is we have to convert we have to use the block diagram reduction technique here so that we can have only one block and that one block is nothing but that will be our transfer function okay so here we can see 
वन अपॉन आर ए प्लस एल ए ऑफ एल ए एस के टी एंड वन बाय जे एस एफ दिस थ्री ब्लॉक्स आर इन सीरीज सो वी आर टेकिंग इट सीरीज कॉम्बिनेशन सो आफ्टर सीरीज कॉम्बिनेशन वी आर गेटिंग के टी अपॉन आर ए प्लस एल ए ऑफ एल ए एस इन दू इन टू जे एस प्लस एफ ओके नाउ दिस इज इंटरनल क्लोज लुक वी आर गेटिंग दिस इज फॉरवर्ड पाथ एंड दिस इज फीडबैक पाथ सो वी आर गेटिंग इंटरनल क्लोज लुक सो दिस इज इफ आफ्टर सॉल्विंग दिस इंटरनल क्लोज लुक वी आर गेटिंग वन मोर ब्लॉक दिस ऑल दिस विल गेट एलिमिनेटेड एंड वी विल बी हैविंग ओनली अ सिंगल ब्लॉक दैट इज के टी अपॉन आर ए प्लस एल ए एस इन टू एस जे एस प्लस एफ प्लस के टी के बी नाउ दिस ब्लॉक एंड वन बाय एस दिस टू ब्लॉक्स आर इन सीरीज सो फाइनली गेटिंग दिस सीरीज कॉम्बिनेशन वी विल बी हैविंग ओनली अ सिंगल ब्लॉक एंड दिस सिंगल ब्लॉक इज नथिंग बट द ट्रांसफर फंक्शन ऑफ आर मेचर कंट्रोल डी सी सर्वो मोटर ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस द डायग्राम ऑफ आर मेचर कंट्रोल डी सी सर्वो मोटर देन द फाइव इक्वेशन विच वी हैव टू डिराइव फॉर ऑप्टेनिंग द ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ डी सी सर्वो मोटर सो वी डिराइव ऑल द फाइव इक्वेशन and after getting the equations we converted that equation into block diagram and finally by using block diagram reduction technique we obtain the transfer function of armature control dc servo motor so i hope you understood everything which we discussed in this video so please like share and subscribe digital blackboard thank you very much